What is up there guys, this is Cobb, welcome back to another episode of this war of mine, Michael's solo mission to survive the war. We've been fucking raided. Did they steal the food? Fucking bastards, man. They stole our one food, half our meds, and some fucking cigarettes. I don't even smoke, but I'm pissed off, alright? Oh my god, man. Gee, look, there's an empty fridge. Oh, what the fuck are we actually gonna do, man? I'm gonna have to fucking kill someone, man, to survive. Someone's at the door. Anyone there? I brought you something. Okay, so when you only have one survivor, there's like an increased chance for nice, helpful NPCs to show up and just give you a hand. Because the game sort of knows that you're just completely fucked. I have some good news. Is it food? Yes! He brought us bread. But then again, it's tinned food. So it's tinned bread. Maybe a little bit gnarly. But I'd fucking eat it anyway, man. You won't believe it, but some charity organization was handing out food in the market square. I thought they'd given up on us, took as much as we could before uh, Grizzini mortars started firing and everyone had to run for cover. Oh my goodness, man. Thank you so much, my friend. Ugh. Okay, do we just eat some before it gets fucking stolen? I'm, ac I'm actually going to. We just gotta eat while it's there. Eat while the food is plentiful, you know? Give me that, man. Fucking sick. Um, okay. So we are very tired right now. Is there anything else useful that I could make? I could build a radio. That's good. Right? It lets us know what's going on and... In the city. It lets us know what challenges are coming. It lets us know when winter's coming. Makes our guy a little bit happier, you know? It's a fucking hard choice. It's a very, very hard choice. For now, I think it's just... I think we just got to sleep. Okay, now we should set up our water filter first, at least. I think the water filter is pretty important to do. Also, can I make a knife soon? I think a knife might be quite important to us. Even, like, very, very early on as we are. How's our crowbar doing? Okay, it's still in pretty good health, pretty good health. Too many sleepless nights. Yeah, man, I know. I know, Marco. I feel your pain. Well, I don't, but I can imagine. In fact, yeah, I do. I know what it's like not to sleep. I've got quite quite a lot of experience, actually, with um, just not sleeping. It ain't fun. You think it is, but it ain't. Let's build a knife, man. And then we can put him to bed and just wrap up this turn. Man, it's, it's the hard knock life, man, for Marco, dude. Doesn't catch a break, you know, Marco. He's crazy. Okay, we have a knife. Okay, so we're just gonna sleep and hit N10. By the way, can I just say I love the soundtrack to this game? Oh, man, the soundtrack to this game. Okay, just hit N10. It should go from very tight to just tired, I think. Okay. He's only tired at this point. I'm thinking about being crazy. Should we go to like... Oh, should we go to the supermarket now? Or should we go to the airport? I kind of want to go to the airport just because I've never been there before. There's lots of food at the airport, you know? We're going to go to the airport, boys. Okay. And the army shoots down any event. They keep a permanent outpost in the control tower. We have our knife. Let's go, boys. Okay, we just gotta, we just gotta keep, just keep our cool here. Better watch out for the soldiers. Oh, I don't like it. Let me zoom right out. I'm scared, man. I'm scared. Can I just drop down here? No. Are they above? Are they below? I guess this is all ruined. I can't get to any of these places. Oh, I can. Oh, but I can't go out here? What's the point? What if I just go all the way up the top? This is fucking scary. Oh, I can't get up there. Okay, alright, alright. So we just have to go down. We just have to go down. You can run a little bit here, Marco. Okay, there is a door down there. Oh, I can actually go down here then. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay, man. This is 
way of fucking tents already. Let's have a little peek. Don't see anyone. Oh, it's barricaded from the other side. Oh no, we have to go right through the middle. Okay. Keep our fucking eyes peeled, man. I don't see anyone. Woo! That scared the shit out of me. Okay, man, just loot those materials. Keep it down, Marco, you fucking psycho. It's crazy, Marco. What did I say, man? I told you it's crazy. Some good loot there. Can I get to, like, the cafeteria or something? Gotta be some food, man. Oh, they're up on top of there. The soldiers, maybe? Let me zoom all the way out and have a look. Oh, I can go on the plane? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Okay, let me just skip back to Marco. There he is. <gasps> the sound on the other side of there. Oh god. Oh no. Oh, I'm scared. Okay. What do you mean? I can't get back up? I'm clicking, nothing's happening. Oh my god, I can't get back up. Okay. Uh, is there anything out here I can even loot? There's literally someone above us. There's literally someone above us, man. You see how that's like a dark or red? That's how you can tell it's not like a rat or something, you know? It's not just a rodent up there. That is a fucking dude. Just gonna sneak around. Real, real sneaky-like. Real sly-like. Will they see me if I walk out here, though? I'm scared, man. I can't get... Oh my god, how do I get out of here? I can't go past that uh, fucking bollard. Do I need to dig my way out? Oh man, what if he hears me though digging, man? Oh no. What if he hears me digging? Okay, he won't, right? I just believe that he won't. We have no fucking choice. We can't go anywhere else. I'm ready to swap to my knife, man. Jesus Christ. I want to get on that plane, though. I want to get on that plane. This is cool, man. I'm glad that I selected the anniversary version, because now it's guaranteeing that I get all of these new areas that I've never experienced yet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, anyway, yeah, I, I can just skip ahead through this. I'll skip past it. I'll skip past this bit for you guys. Unless someone shows up, in which case, we're pulling the fucking knife out, man. Alright, alright, alright. We've cleared it, we've cleared it. We threw, man, we threw. We good. These guys don't seem to patrol, so we seem we seem to be okay here. Gather up those, we can break through here, then this is our way out. Alright man, robbing the fucking soldiers, man, right under the noses. Okay, man. I swear I just heard a door open, it sounded really fucking close. Like, just as I closed that door, it sounded like a door opened to me. Okay, I'm just I'm just opening our way to escape for the time being. All right. Fucking carrots and stuff. Oh my god, carrots! I've never been so hyped for a fucking carrot in my life. Give me that, man. We can fit in one more of those. One more electrical component. Do I just drop the wood? I think that the cog is just too fucking good, man, for upgrading stuff early on. Okay, then we can get the hell out of here, man. Oh shit! We're totally running out of time. Okay, just run. Go, Marco, go! If you run out of time, you risk, like, them showing up injured or something at the house, and you don't want to, like, you don't want to waste medical supplies and that kind of stuff. Like, just stupid mistakes like that. And they can show up late, just in the middle of the day, so you, like, lose a lot of time, you know? Okay, man, okay, okay, okay. Fucking nailed it. Fucking did it. Fucking bastards! They, t they stole my tin food, didn't they? Motherfuckers, man. Who's this fucking guy? Oh, he's carrying wood. He's carrying wood. 
Okay, I'm just gonna wait right here for him. See, the game is like, the game throws you a bone when it's only one guy in your team, you know? Hello, neighbor. You doing all right? Sure, man, I'm, I'm doing that. I just got robbed. Just got robbed, can you believe it? 20 bits of wood. Thank you so much, dude. Thanks, man. What a, what a fucking legend, honestly. What a champion, man. Champion of the people right there. Okay, so... I can go into this. I'm gonna need to create some fuel. Preferably using wood. To create, like, a double cooked food meal with our carrots and stuff. Because the, the double meal costs carrots, whereas this one doesn't cost any, but it's less efficient, you know? So we should make... I think only as much fuel as we actually need, right? Because fuel is something that can be stolen if people find your house and come and raid your shit. Alright, man. Alright. Please, man, can another survivor just show up? I love the aesthetic of the game, by the way. Look at that, man. Look at that. It has a very, very real outlook on, um, on wall, this game. It's a beautiful thing, man. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, cook up some food there, man. It's all good. It's all good. We doing it. We doing it. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to try and upgrade the workbench here because that just unlocks lots of other upgrade paths. I'm just going to leave the food there because once you cook the food, top tip, for some reason, if you get raided, they just don't steal cooked food. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Let's upgrade this. Too many sleepless nights. I know, man. I know we're going to get you on that soon, man. Don't worry. Don't worry, man. You just got to make sure that his status ailments don't get too bad. Um, so the one shot of supplies, supplies wasn't enough. Someone came at night to rob us. Yeah, they did indeed. Bastards, man. I can't believe we were fucking robbed. Two nights in a row as well. I just got to hope that it stops because I can't really afford not to leave to scavenge this early on. Like, this is one of the best times of the game just to try and like, get ahead and get all of your appliances built and stuff. It's really fucking rough going. So you can start boarding up the house and stuff. More protection against looters. I also build an armchair for more comfort. We can build a radio. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just make the radio. In the bedroom maybe do we put this? In the bedroom. Maybe we put it right here actually next to the bench. Right there man, let's do this, let's do this. We build this, get Marco to sleep, and another day passes by. See these early days, you have to like really play out the full day. We might have to play out the full day for quite a while until we get another person, like another survivor to join us. If we can get another survivor to join us. Fuck. Damn it, man. Okay, what do we got on the radio, man? Prices of cigarettes and tobacco become exceedingly high. Many people need cigarettes to calm down, but how well can they be calm knowing how much they must pay for them? Yep. Can we just get like some music on? Sick, man. So this will keep our character's mood a bit better and stop them getting all depressed. Go to bed, hit end day. Okay, very tired, down to tired. All right, we can go to the military outpost already to uh, trade and stuff. Semi-detached house. So dangerous, man. Like, everything is just fucking full of danger, danger, danger. Um, I've barely looted any of the fucking airport, man. I, I shouldn't go back there. I shouldn't. I just shouldn't go back there, man. Are we ready for the supermarket? If we lose this fight with this soldier, then we are so fucked. It's incredible. But if we win, we can afford to spend the night at home. Because we should be able to get, like, lots of food here and stuff. Okay, man. Armed with only a knife. That's if the soldier's here. I'm thinking that he will be. It's never guaranteed. I've been here before and there's just been, like, other civilians here. I'm not alone here. Fucking Marco, so cool. Okay. Got some fucking gun shells and stuff. Okay. 
Look, look, look. Look. There he is, man, the fucker. I got my knife ready, man. I wonder if the scenario plays out differently. I don't think it will. Look at him. Look at him. I should just go right now. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. Get him. Oh, he's not dead, he's not dead. Kill him. Fucking hell. Oh my god, man. Ooh, why didn't he die in one hit? That was an assassination strike. Man, the playthrough could have ended right there. Right there, man. If you got one shot. 20 bullets in a gun, though. Oh. Mm, feels better when you click them all individually. All right, don't worry, Barbara. She just ran away, man. She got the fuck out of there. That is the guy who tries to fucking... You know what I'm saying? Exchange food for a favor. Horrible little cretin. Fucking villain, man. It's all you're supposed to be for the people. Okay, that's some expensive tobacco leaves right there, man. That's good, that's good. Get some water, some weapon parts, because it's always good, especially for trading. We'll pick up everything but the herbs, I guess. See if we can, like, complete these stacks now, you know? See if we can complete these stacks now. Carry that. You know, I'm gonna drop these. I'm gonna drop the, uh, gun casings. I think the best way to get guns is just to kill people who have guns, honestly. Which sounds a bit savage, I know, but... Okay, we got a book there as well. Maybe we'll be dropping that as well, but... Oh, I can't get through that way? Okay. I cannot get through that way. Man, the ambience of this game. Man, the ambient, the ambient noises, the music. Love it. Sick, man. Oh, I can't pick up these, though, as well. We don't need them right now. We can hold off on those for the time being. Um, they're for making things like uh, radios and, and stuff like that, so they're not super important to have right now. Likewise, neither of these. Okay. I'm your best for it. What the fuck did that say? What does that actually say on the wall there, dude? I'm your best friend. I kill you for nothing. Yeah. Faded leaflet uh, with skull and crossbones reads, Danger, do not touch unexploded ammunition. Any weapons, ammunition, or equipment left behind are unexploded. Maybe booby traps. Do not touch anything. Do not risk severe injury or death. Report any such finds to the nearest army outpost. Crazy times, man. Imagine actually just living in this environment. Imagine that. Really, I can't, I just can't, like, complete any of the stacks of stuff that I got. I guess I haven't looked at these yet. Those look like food boxes to me, man. Yes, good. The fertilizer is really good for putting in, uh, animal traps, which we should be able to build pretty soon. So that's good. Get that. More weapon parts. Okay, I guess I ditch the book for now. And go for the components there. Guess how we do that. I feel like we're doing pretty well. Even though we've been robbed like a million times. I'm gonna stay at home after this one. Um I can't get anything else, damn it. Ah, we've had a good haul. We've had a good haul. Let's just run the fuck home, man. Let's just get home. Let's just get home. Marco's back after killing a man. Holy shit. But you know what? That guy was fucking... We, we had to do that, alright? He appears in, like, more than half of the playthroughs, it seems. The rapist soldier. Fuck him, man. Fuck him. Okay, come on now, Marco. Please, just say we weren't robbed, man. Please. Yes! Yes, the night was calm. And now we have a gun to defend the house with when we stay, uh, stand guard tonight. 
Okay. Marco's very tired and stuff. I know. I know you're very, very tired, man. You know what? He's actually content as well. He's just straight up happy. I'm glad I saved that girl. How can the military do such things? Because we did a good act. He's feeling happy. Sick, man. Oh my god. That is, oh, that's so satisfying. Just seeing the little content line on there. That makes me so fucking happy. And we got some booze as well. Look at that, man. We stole the guy's moonshine. We are fucking gods, man. Well, Marco's a god. I don't want to take I don't want to take the credit. It's Marco's doing not mine. You know what? Let's celebrate, man. Let's get some music on. Let's go, Marco. I swear to god, man. Alright, man. If I was like alone in an apocalypse situation like this, I'm always the kind of person when I'm in the house by myself, I totally end up singing to myself all the time. And not quietly, not just like I'm talking, I'm like a fucking opera singer, man. I go crazy. Anybody else do that when you're in the house by yourself? Or when you're like vacuuming, I want to break free. You know what I'm saying? Just me? Oh well, fuck. Um, let's play some traps, man. Let's play some traps here. Where should we put the traps? Where should we put the traps? I think actually we should just break through this door first. So we can have the traps in this room. The uh, the animal traps, those are really, really good. Give us like a consistent way to get some food in there. We got some fertilizer to put on them as well, so. It's all working out, man. It's all working out for our Marco. Okay, so do I need to clear this first? Um, okay, yeah. I don't want to do all of that right now. I just want to kind of get the animal trap built. Okay, fine. The animal traps won't go in there then. They can go down here. They can go down there. We'll have like two traps on the ground in the uh, lower tier of the building. Can I break into that with a uh, crowbar? Maybe? No, it would tell me, right? It's the fucking door. Oh, it's the trader. It's the trader. I, I, I'll, I'll be right up. The guy with the stripy shirt, man. He's always the trader. He's good people, man. The guy with the stripy shirt. A jacket, a jumper. And we have things to trade as well, man. Hurry up, Marco. God damn it. I know that you're tired. You literally just haven't slept in 24 hours, but let's go, let's go, let's go. The girl should be safe now. What a relief. See, even Marco's feeling good, man, about saving that girl. We did a good thing. We did a good, good thing. There's one scenario I've encountered on this game, actually, that I've only ever encountered once. And I failed it. And I didn't, I, I wasn't able to do it. It's actually saving the life of a baby. And I felt so bad. I just, honestly, man, oh my god. I was so upset with myself. I was so fucking upset with myself. I couldn't even make it to the baby, you know? I had to just leave. And their dad was down there and he'd been shot and I was like, Fuck! What am I supposed to do, man? Anyway. Let's trade away the coffee, because we don't, we don't, you know, coffee drinkers. Um, I'm gonna keep the cigarette. Oh no, the cigarettes are very valuable right now, right? I said so on the radio. Oh no, th that's his stuff. What am I talking about? Um, get rid of the coffee. We don't have any cigarettes because they were stolen, but we can get rid of the herbs, which can be used for cigarettes, so they should be valuable too. I think we just want a little pile of books. Books are good to keep the happiness levels up. Bull oh, bullets are very valuable, are they? Fuck. Load of components. What stuff don't we need? What stuff don't we need? Give you like half my sugar cubes to see how see how much we can squeeze this guy, you know? Okay, just take all the fucking sugar cubes. All oh, the teddies. These are only good for trading, so. Okay. Minus one the teddies. Minus another teddy. Minus a bit of coffee. Minus a herb. Okay, fuck. Add the herb back in. Add the herb back in if it means that much to you. Deal at that. Okay, let's trade some more. Let's trade some more, man. I want some more. Coffee. Um, these herbs are also going to be very, very valuable, so we'll trade those in. Uh, and a couple of bears. Okay, how much of the stuff man can this get us? Wood is a huge pain in the ass to loot, because it takes up so much fucking inventory space. So we'll do that. Rest can be components. Can we minus the coffee? Add in a couple more components? We can. That's something that we can do. Let's deal on that. Let's deal on that. And the last one, I think we've got one more trade in us. Um, throw the coffee in there. Just a bit of wood. Oh, really? Really? You won't even make that trade? 
I've got nothing else that I really want to give him. That I want to get rid of, you know. I just take the last of the coffee, man. I'm a generous bastard. There you go. Gotta go back to my folks. See ya, man. Good luck, dude. Good luck, my friend. Alright, so I'm gonna go and put bait in the trap, and then we're gonna get Marco to sleep. And we're gonna let him... We're gonna let him sleep tonight. I think that's a good idea. Just let him sleep tonight. Seems like a good plan to me. Let's, uh... Bait this up with some fertilizer. Could take any amount of time before that shit finishes. Gonna put Marco to bed, and then we're just gonna end turn. That's how we're gonna do it. There it is. Sleep. End the day. Okay, we're gonna stand guard tonight, man. We have guns. Let's just guard. Let's just fucking guard. Marco's ready now, man. He's fucking ready. But you know what's not ready? What? I have a gun. I have an AK. Fuck. Thanks for watching, everybody. Gonna leave this one here. Cheese for coming by. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see all you guys in the next episode of Marco's Struggle in this War of Mine. Oh! Kill him! Kill him, everyone! Kill him! Fucking oh, just right click. Ah! Uh, 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 uh.